scientists have discovered a possible new planet in our solar system for the first time in 170 years. Evidence of this ninth planet was found on the far edge of the system. Astronomers at, this, at the California Institute of Technology have not directly seen it yet, but they think it's up to 10 times bigger than Earth and 20 times farther away than Neptune. Derek Pitts is chief astronomer and director of the Fells Planetarium at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. We're pleased to have you here. Thank you for having me. So how exciting is this to the world of astronomy? Well, this is extraordinarily exciting. It's exciting because <clears throat> for the first time in, as you said, a very long time, we're identifying a, another planet in our solar system. It's sort of like an indication that we really don't know everything there is to know about our solar system, and there's lots more to learn. What's the evidence that it's there? So the evidence is that we can look at objects orbiting around our solar system and figure out why their motions are the way they are because of the gravitational influences of everything else around. So we looked at a small group of objects newly discovered and really realized we couldn't actually completely understand their motion. However, if we insert into the equation about that an object about the size of this planet 9, everything then worked out perfectly. So that's what gives the suspicion that it really does exist. So you don't see it, but you said it's all about the numbers. So two scientists are playing around with numbers and they think what? They think huh, this doesn't add up. Yeah. We need to ask some other folks to take a look at this for us and tell us if we're crazy. And sure enough, that's what they did. The Caltech astronomers looked at the number and said, you know that idea about there being another planet? That's not a crazy idea. It looks like it's really possible. So now what they'll do is they'll let this information out to the rest of the astronomical community to try to help figure out what's going on, to make sure that everything's correct. And now they'll also do the observations. And, and some have already stepped forward it. to say they're convinced. Well, it is... It, it, uh, yes, they are pretty well convinced now they need the visual evidence to back it up because, yeah, as I said, the numbers yeah. don't lie. Okay, so how hard is it going to be able to get the visual mm -hmm. evidence? Here's a number I was interested in and read in the paper. Pluto, at its most distant, is 4.6 billion miles from the sun. Right. This new planet would be about 20 billion miles miles from the sun. It's even further out than that at its greatest <laughs> extent. But the point is that we now can develop instrumentation that goes on big telescopes around the world that will give us the chance to see this, that will give us the capability to see it. But the real trick is we have to know where to look. And right now, we don't know exactly where to look. But astronomers are incredible hunters that can figure this out. The numbers are awesome. How long would it take it to, to navigate the sun? It's a 20,000-year orbit. 20,000 <laughs> years. So that means in the we history... We will be here. We, we won't, not, not only will we not be here, but in the history of us looking at the sky, we have not yet really seen this. It has, we don't know if it's actually come around to our part of the solar system or not. But one of the really cool things about this story is that one of the astronomers at Caltech, Mike Brown, says that since he was the person who originally downgraded the status of Pluto originally, his daughter has been a little upset with him. So uh, he yeah. says that perhaps this will make up yeah. for that, yeah. uh, I, uh, that loss. I was going to say, because when I grew up, we were taught that there were nine planets. Yeah. Yes, that's so right. Same you're here. coming full circle. Yeah. And I feel much better now that yes. perhaps there's a ninth planet. So the next Thank step you. is to further examine the evidence they have. Right. They'll keep looking at the numbers to see if they can find any other way in which right. this could manifest itself. Those other objects' motion could manifest itself this way. And Derek. they're looking for the visual. Next Derek time, Pitts, you come. are. Next time when you come, no. please wear a bright tie. Exactly. I'll do what I can. I, I was going to say, Derek Pitts, you are out of this world. It looks world. like it came from, from <laughs> the south so of much. France. Yes, yeah. it does. I thought we could brighten <laughs> like the day. So. I like it's not it's a knock. Exactly I like right. it. Yeah. No, we do. Thank you. We'll go for that.